stuff like that. Part of our coverage tomorrow. Watch for it starting at 7 o'clock from Washington and back here in San Diego. We'll see you guys. And so that is the end of our show today here in San Diego. We're now about to get onto a plane to go out to Washington over the next few days on this YouTube channel. We hope to give you a behind the scenes look at what this coverage is all about and introduce you to some interesting characters along the way. We hope you'll join us. I'm Alex Michelson. Thanks for being with us. Welcome to Washington Dulles, which this week is Welcome to Cold and Crowd. Oh, I've lived in this area for 30 years and I've never seen it this crowded. <laughs> And on and on and on, <laughs> porta potty after porta potty. Hmm. More porta potties at the Washington Monument above. What a weird combination. <laughs> <laughs> California Democratic Party, so we'll be taking you inside that. Tomorrow morning on San Diego 6 News in the morning, we're going to be joining you all morning the cold, uh, the adrenaline is flowing, and because I so over-prepared with layers, I'm actually sweating out in the cold. And enjoy the sun for me. Go to the, go to the beach for me. <laughs> all right. So we just finished up the live phoner that we were doing on San Diego 6 News in the morning. We're going to head um, in to start our reporting day now, but it's... Old, I guess this is probably my seventh or eighth inauguration. I mean, they all have a, an enormous amount of excitement. I mean, this one the most of any. It's a nonpartisan issue. You know, it's a remarkable moment in our history. I mean, look at what President Bush has said about that. I mean, President Bush he sounds like some rabid Democrat when he talks about how exciting it is. Some of the regulars I've known on the White House staff were covering this morning. They wanted to come out and um, see what it's like to observe 80 San Diegans going through 20 degree temperature trying to get to an inaugural event. <laughs> and I think we should get, these students should get special accommodation for remaining alive. People shop on Black Fridays to stay up all night for 75% off on a computer. I think it's worth it to do it for a president. <laughs> Hi everybody, and we're now inside the National Archives. We're taking a tour with students from SDSU behind us. The document that started it all. We're looking at the Magna Carta. As the young people here from San Diego and all over the country check out the Constitution of the United States, it's interesting to think that a black man is considered three-fifths of a person in this document. And now we're going to have our first African-American president. All right, the boss himself, Bruce Springsteen, is playing behind us. And I can tell you there's just a feel of energy and excitement that has been building all week that you're starting to really feel going on right now as the crowds pour in with smiles on their faces. It's amazing. Um, it's awesome. It's history. You're a black man to be president and name, so you can be anything now. All right, so we're standing and watching the inaugural concert in progress. We're standing under the Washington Monument. It's pretty amazing if you think about the history of this moment. Washington Monument honoring a man who owned slaves. Then we look over here to the Lincoln Memorial, a man who helped emancipate the slaves. The Emancipation Proclamation, a big part of the Lincoln Memorial. Those are the same steps where this concert was happening, where Martin Luther King gave his famous I Have a Dream speech. And to see now the first African-American president right there dancing with all these people, the biggest stars in the world coming to honor him, is a remarkable moment and the energy here is pretty much unlike anything I've ever experienced. We won, and uh, now it's time for us to let our hair down a little bit. Everybody just, everybody was like love. It was like a modern day Woodstock, but it was cold. <laughs> Not as many drugs. Yeah. All right. No, no drugs. All right. we saw. Let's bring out love between my brothers and your sisters. Oh.
we're at the CNN News Source White House Bureau, where Alex and I just completed about six live shots. We just got free Subway sandwiches, and now we're going to go and talk to Sandy Higgins, waiting in line to get their tickets for the inauguration. Oh, I'll use Barack going to the service. Okay. We are both um, raised by our white grandparents. We both lived in a different country. I can show it to everybody. Hard work does pay off. So, it's basically, as a black American, it's, it's really, really breathtaking. We can, we can, we can, we can, we can! Obama, he's a heck of a man! We're off to see Obama in Washington, D.C. <laughs> As a Republican, what's it like to watch this? Well, it's like watching, um, I, I, I guess it would be like watching the Steelers beat us last week in the, in the game, <laughs> um, only magnified through the long run. But uh, this is what the Republican's about. This is uh, what, uh, how it's supposed to work, is that we don't shoot and kill um, uh, to change governments. We have an election. For less than 24 hours from the 56th presidential inauguration, I'm Alex Michelson, and as you can see, the uh, setup is well underway, pretty much completed over here. Uh, that moment, spot right over there is where Barack Obama will take the oath of office tomorrow. San Diegans watched the inauguration of Barack Obama. We're live from Washington. Balance News tonight at 10. Words sometimes escape me. Tears mostly come to my eyes, but because we're doing this interview, I'm trying not to cry. That Dr. King said, and I steal his words, where black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, little children all coming together. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last. We're standing in the middle of a crowd, uh, about to get into the Silver Gate here, but you can see it's kind of a standstill. People all around, mostly patient, but uh, starting to get a little antsy at the prospect they not get their spot. Still, a tremendous amount of positive energy from here, especially for San Diego. <laughs> Perfect. Where are you guys from? San Diego. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. Really? I had to physically be here. I took off work. Uh, cash and everything I had just to be right here. So you can see millions of people lined up behind us and in front here, right here at the Capitol, all excited about Obama, all in a festive attitude, about to see the President of the United States sworn in. Civil Rights Movement in Mississippi in 1961. I picketed, I protested, the whole ceremony. I cried from the time Reverend Warren came on stage until after Barack has taken his oath. And it was just, it was just like paralyzing. It really was. <laughs> was worth dealing with the cold? It was. I wasn't even cold. I was not even cold. I had chills all over me, but I wasn't cold. In talking to San Diegans there and throughout the entire trip, we're ext extremely happy that because we were the only station there, they had somebody to talk with. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people share their experience. They, they, it was such a historic moment that the they were looking for somebody to kind of share that moment outlet, with. Yeah. And there were a remarkable number of civil rights advocates who now live in San Diego, who during the 60s were part of that movement. And to see them on Inauguration Day was one of the most profound moments I've seen in my career. And it was great to be able to share uh, with everybody Very here. So exciting, thank yeah. you all for the opportunity for letting us be a part of that. It was a great trip.